You know that awesome guy who killed Superman? Yeah, Darkseid. Wait, not Darkseid? It was Doomsday? What I thought? Oh, never mind. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Superhero Science. Wait, nope, not Superhero Science, this is Super Villain Science. Did not see that coming. But you did, because you saw the title before watching this video. I think we need a little celebration. Like a thing from the first episode, but with devil horns for the villain, okay? There we go. Perfect. Okay, so today we're going to talk about Darkseid. Or is it Darkseid? I've heard it both ways, but I'm going to say Darkseid. In my opinion, I think it is probably the coolest DC villain ever. This guy can easily beat a Superman and Wonder Woman in hand-to-hand -hand combat. He has one desire, and that is to wipe out all life forever, unless they're his slaves. For a little backstory about Darkseid. His name was originally Euxus and came from the planet called Apocalypse. He and his whole generation was looked down upon by what were called the Old Gods and made Euxus furious. So one night, when everyone was sleeping, he went to the temple and whispered in their ears. He made them turn on each other. I don't know exactly what he did by whispering in the ears, maybe some sort of voodoo spell or something. I don't know. When the Old Gods turned on each other and fought, Euxus was able to kill them one by one when they were weakened. In doing this, he was somehow able to absorb their powers and become another one of DC's villains that supposedly had limitless powers. I think they have too many of those. His brother was meanwhile mourning over his dead wife and was begging his father to bring her back. His father happened to be the High Father, whatever that means, and gave the powers to his son. That must have been a fun father-son talk. Dad, can you bring my wife back to life? She died. Okay, son, but how about I just hand over the power of lights itself to you instead? Really? Thanks, Dad! Okay, now run along, go play Cosmo Ball or something. Well, these powers were used to fight against Euxus, who by this point is Darkseid. The effort was futile because in the end, Darkseid won and took over the planet. Okay, we're done here. Now let's talk about his powers. His strength is almost limitless, and he can shoot Omega Beams from his eyes. So let's just talk about this. His Omega Beams. It shoots incredible sources of energy and, of course, huge amounts of light. So imagine that you're playing Sunstare with about a thousand suns. His retinas would be burned and he would be blind after just one use. But let's just assume that he doesn't get any negative effects from shooting these monstrosities from his eye sockets. They can destroy anything in their path and be telekinetically controlled to move in any sort of direction. Considering that Darkseid can react within a microsecond, he moves them around pretty well. This beast has almost godlike power, so he doesn't really have to obey the laws of physics, but Captain America said it best. There's only one god, man, and I'm pretty sure he doesn't dress like that. So now he has to obey everything that Noon wrote down. That Omega Beam? Nope, can't happen. Sorry, bro. So because it is physically impossible to alter matter telepathically because of some really in-depth science I don't need to get into, his Omega Beams would not be able to change directions as they do in the comics. And I did say that he has to obey the laws of physics, but we'll give him some leeway on this and let's assume that he can use his Omega Beams. So, as I said, Darkseid has to obey all of Newton's laws of physics, and his third law says that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So if he were to shoot Omega Beams, then it can send 230 pounds or 107 kilograms Superman flying a few hundred feet. Then Darkseid, weighing about 7.5 times Superman at 1,815 pounds or 823 kilograms, would rocket back about half a football field. Because this huge reaction is happening so suddenly, his head would suffer from whiplash because his head jerked back so much. Since laser beams don't have very high recoil, you would think that he would not be sent back flying, but they're not lasers. They're concentrated dark matter that somehow explode out of his pupils. So with the eye beams coming from a pretty much destroyed planet, dead parents, superhuman strength, and immortality, this guy is basically an anti-Superman. No, not the actual anti-Superman, but like one. What difference is that he's not scared of little green rocks? Oh wait, he is. Never mind. He too has a slimmer weakness called Radiant, but again, like Superman, was able to overcome it. Man, the people over at DC must have run out of ideas. Besides the fact that he's normally cool and collective during battles, Darkseid is insane. His only true desire is to conquer the universe and everything in it. It would be very difficult for him to listen to reason, being so hell-bent on a particular goal. This would explain why he wiped out his homeworld so that he could rule it. If he truly wanted to rule anything, he wouldn't kill the entire populace before doing so. This show is that he did not listen to reason, therefore would not be very fit as a ruler for anything. Not that he wants to rule anything. He just wants to kill and spare those who are useful for him. If you think back in time to any part in your life when Yo had a set goal you were really trying hard to achieve like Darkseid, you generally lose traces of logic and try to do everything you can to help your project's progression, even if it's not for the overall greater good of yourself. This would make Darkseid quite insane, and therefore making him likely to simply go to planets and destroy them for fun. The more I talk about it, the more I think he belongs in an episode of Dragon Ball Z, not DC Comics. Whatever it is, it's their choice. <laughs> I guess it's hard to come up with so many original villains and heroes. It's over 9,000! No! We spoke of it once, and we're not gonna talk of it again. This is comics, not anime, and manga does not count. 
Hmm, uh, sorry about that. I got a little, um, uh, carried away. So who are we talking about today again? Oh yeah, Darkseid, that guy with the face, and not many other physical features. I mean, look at this guy. He's got himself a belt and some kind of shin pads, kind of like Messi the World Destroyer. His rash decisions allow him not only to think clearly sometimes, this biggest evidence is when the animated Justice League TV show where Batman hacked into the Dark Side's planet destroying system. If he would have simply used his mind control powers. Wait, mind control powers? Man, what kind of powers does he not have? Well, if he would have used them, he could have just made Batman give him the new code, but his judgment clouded it, and he was just trying to make him give up the code and bargained with him. He was so enraged that Batman beat him and became sentless. Man, this guy's got a bone to pick with everybody, and he's not going to take no for an answer. So remember, whether he's throwing himself into mounds or trying out to be the next one of Goku's victims, Darkseid still can't kill anyone important. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and remember to leave a like and comment on what hero or villain you would like to see perform in the real world next. We're the Superhero Scientist, signing off.